Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Exilia. I'm Kata Yaiko, and in the last episode we, uh, we, s we fought the boss and actually won, which was cool. Oh, a quest? And oops, this episode we're gonna do other stuff. Wow, the scale of the spirit arts that must be required to keep this many windmills spinning boggles the mind. As a servant of House Cheryl, may I ask what your business is here? Oh, certainly. Forgive my intrusion. I was just observing the spirit arts that you use to turn the windmills. Turn the windmills? What is he talking about? I think I'll let Professor Jude field this one. Well, the wind that makes Sherilton's windmills turn comes from channeling spirits. The spirit arts are cast in a way that amplifies wind flow throughout the entire city. And the enhanced wind power is funneled toward the windmills that need it. Remember, kids, this will be on the final. <laughs> oh my god. Jude is smart and Alvin's a smart ass. Got it. Hmm. Fascinating. Wow. You really know your stuff. Hey, I don't suppose you'd be willing to help me with my research. What are you looking into? I'm studying spirit climb changes and how they're affected by spirit art usage. My plan is to gather data from Sherilton with its heavy usage of spirit arts and compare that to data from Bermia Gorge, which has high levels of spirit climb variability. That's an interesting idea. I'm pretty interested myself. I say we help out. Very well. Uh, great! Okay then, could you use this spirit climb examination art at Bermia Gorge's highest point? This research could significantly impact the future of Riza Maxia. I appreciate your help with it. Okay then, I can do that. Oh, that's the wrong way. I mean, the highest point is pretty easy to get to now, actually. Because there was a thing that I knocked over at the top, and it allows me to climb all the way back to the top without having to go through the whole thing again. It was a boulder or something, I knocked it off, and now I can use some vines. So why not? It doesn't take that long to get there and get to the top. I said, why not? Let's go. Yeah, it's a wolf. Well, actually, they're cats, aren't they? It's a cat. Oh my gosh, look at all these enemies everywhere. Hello. Goodbye. Skip all the enemies. I'm such a good Tails player. This is why I keep losing all the boss fights. Maybe also, maybe because I'm not very good at Tails of Exilia. But anyways, I can just go straight to the top from over here. Hello. Goodbye, Jin. Win Jin. Haha. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, when I was grinding for levels before I took on the boss, I found that boulder that I could knock over that allows me just to climb straight to the top. So that was cool. But you go here, grab the shiny, because why not? Oh, cool, jetpack feathers. Climb up here. Climb faster, Mila. And then just right here, there's the broken piece of the boulder I knocked over, so you just climb straight up here. And it takes you right to the top. It's very convenient. So this is probably the spot I have to go to, because I think it's probably the highest point. At least, you know, it feels like the highest point. Hello, Winjin. Eh, climb. Climb. Son of a bitch. I suck. Kick its ass. And I didn't really get a chance to show off um, the arts that you had learned from the thing. So there is that one, which is the Talon, Talon Storm, and then here's the Aqua Sweep. I did it. So there you go. Those are two of the things I got from upgrading Prankster. Alright, so is this the highest point, or can I go higher? Nope, I guess it's the highest point. Do you think this is a good enough spot to use that spirit climb examination art? Uh, sure. Looks good to me. It seems ideal, in fact. Here, allow me.
What, that was it? Correct. All the art does is summon lesser Earth spirits to record changes in the surrounding spirit climb. It sounds like it could take a while before it's done. So it's both boring and time-consuming. That's just how science is. That's not the stirring denial I expected from our honor student. Whatever. The spirits have done their job. Let's go back to Sherilton. Jude is 1000% done with Alpha. I'm just gonna jump down. Fuck it. I think there was a skit too. Uh, reporting on our findings. We should report back to the naturalist in Sherilton. That was really useful. Thank you. I needed you to tell me that, Jude. It doesn't seem to be operational anymore. You know, these devices look a lot like the ones we saw in the Laforte Research Center. Yes, they absorb mana and transfer it elsewhere. Definitely a similar design. They must have been trying to create something by mixing human mana with lesser spirits. You mean like that butterfly atrocity? Yeah, that thing was really pretty. It was just a fucking dick. I hated it. No, I suspect that was a side effect of a failed creation. Most likely, the lesser spirits they were using went out of control when we intervened. It's frightful to think that such a powerful monster could be an accidental result of a failed experiment. Wow. What is it, Elise? I just can't believe we all jumped from such a great height! We could have died! That's very true. Hey, you're the one who suggested we all ride down here on your channeling circle. I mean, you knew it was going to be okay, right? I wouldn't say knew, exactly. I do recall having some concerns about the weight. So you staked our lives on a hunch? Suddenly, I'm more scared now than I was back then. What's the problem? It did work. Indeed, it did. You two scare me more than this machinery does. Me too. <laughs> oh, God. I wonder if that's... I guess it's probably part of a different event. I didn't expect that. I just expected I would walk out and that would be the end of it. I wonder if I had come in the regular way if it would have had the same scene. Who knows? Time to go back to Sherilton. So, we're going back. Actually, I can... I can this, can't I? Let's do that. Sure. I don't really care which entrance. An entrance is an entrance, as long as I know where I'm going. And I do. We're going this way. To the guy. Hello, sir. Goodbye, sir. I'll come back with more feathers later, okay? I don't have that much right now. Kinda spent them all. Sir, I set up the spirit thingy and Bob. We used the art in Burmia Gorge, just like you asked. <sighs> Wonderful, thank you. Now I can document the connections between my Sherilton data and your Burmia Gorge data. You know, I find it pretty hard to imagine that human spirit arts could affect a spirit climb that much. I used to think so too. But Burmia Gorge's spirit climb changed dramatically right after these windmills were built. Some scientists even believe that Fenmont's expanding night climb may be connected to its urbanization as well. Wow, I had no idea. It's only a hypothesis, but it's worth gathering data to investigate. I agree. It would be great to learn how spirit climbs change. Jude has a real affinity for learning, doesn't he? Yes. I imagine that was his true calling. Shh. Whoever heard of a kid who actually likes studying? I'm glad I was able to help you with your research. You were an enormous help. If I find out anything interesting, I'll let you know. Okay. I acquired a moonstone. I have no idea what that is. Oh, gosh. I want that. Jesus. Who should I equip it to? Probably Elise. Because she could use a whole bunch of TP. She uses her TP like it's fucking candy. Or she eats it, maybe. She eats it like it's candy. Yeah, that makes sense. Hi, pigeons. Why aren't these pigeons afraid of me? It bugs me. 
You know what else bugs me? You guys probably haven't seen it, because I don't think I've actually showed it to you guys, but I, I used to make wallpapers and avatars and signatures, and I still do every once in a while, but not as often as I used to, and I made one of Kuze Hibiki from Devil Survivor 2, the animation, and I put it on DeviantArt, because I have a DeviantArt, and now you guys are probably gonna spam it, maybe. I don't know if you care, but I do have a DeviantArt, and I put it on the DeviantArt, and uh, somebody actually commented on those, and they're like, where did you get the background without Hibiki in it? I want it, and I'm like, I made that background myself. <laughs> like, do you guys really- or do they really think that I'm so lazy that I would just slap a picture of Hibiki onto a background and call it mine? I made the background. God, you guys. Not you guys. Those guys, I guess. Because you guys don't really care. The only time I just slap background or pictures on the backgrounds is if I'm making thumbnails for my um, for my videos, because I kind of feel I should use game backgrounds for my videos, just because my thumbnails, because it makes sense. And like my Twitter background is the Grace's F uh, Town Wind Windor. That's not the town's name, the capital. And then uh, it's the same with the banner for my channel. But anyways, let's talk to you and go to sleep. It just annoyed me that he thought I wouldn't do you it You must myself. be exhausted. You should rest. I will. Allow me to see you to your chambers. Thank you. You're so nice. You have my gratitude, Rowan. I learned more than I thought I would. Alvin is a fine instructor when it comes to swordsmanship, but I haven't had any opportunities to study spirit arts. I'd never used techniques to control spirits before. I always did it by feel. Sorry, I didn't know the text was auto-advancing there. I didn't mean to do that. You should go back and pause it to read what he said. Sorry. You're that skilled despite a lack of formal instruction. Impressive indeed. I hope we might practice together again sometime. Nothing would please this old man more. Is that Jude? Why is Jude standing out in the dark, staring at nothing? He is no doubt thinking of Miss Elise. She is a great source of concern for him. I saw it all over his face when he was looking at her earlier. He's caught in his own vicious cycle. He feels compelled to help people, but then he can't stop worrying once he gets involved. <laughs> He's just so... human. Hey! Son of a bitch, stop auto-advancing text. You can't switch between them, you get me confused. They were trying to create a new key. I may not have much time left. As we suspected, he was doting over Miss Elise. He would like my master to take her in. I see. Despite his failings, Jude takes his responsibility seriously. Yes, he is a most clever boy. That he is. Sorry, I'll try to be more careful with the text in the future. It's just like, sometimes it auto-advanced, and sometimes it didn't, and I really don't appreciate that. I wonder if I should just switch it back to auto. Because I turned the auto off. Maybe I should just turn it back on. Camera motion? I don't really care. Yeah, I just... I'll leave that alone. No, wait. Uh, there. Let's see if that works out any better. Probably would. Uh, anyways, I'm probably gonna get a cutscene if I run down and talk to him, so I'm gonna end the episode here because we're in like 14 minutes. Almost 15. So, uh, in the next episode, I'll go ahead and talk to Klein down there and see what happens. So thanks everybody for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!